Warning, this video contains scenes of animals being dispatched in the UK using legal limit air rifles. Do not watch if you may be offended. Go and watch Charlie Bit My Finger instead. Okay, afternoon everyone. Back on the farm again. Sunday the 21st of July. And I'm just doing a bit of a scout to see what the uh, best vantage point's going to be. To have a go at these crows and magpies today. If you watched the last video, you'll know that I was down just there in between that piece of machinery and the concrete shed shooting back towards this tree um, but I had a thought when I was last week when I was here because there was a lot of them landing on top of that concrete wall there as well but I couldn't see that wall because it's behind the white walls from the angle I was shooting at so I was still down on the bipod down there so I've had a bit of a wrecky round this morning. I've climbed up here. <laughs> There's a pond I never knew was here. Um, but I may be looking at laying on the bipod on top of this grass, grassy bank here. It should give me a view of about 30 yards to the tree and around 30 yards to that wall, which is where they like to land. And obviously they like to land in that field as well maybe even on top of that shed so if I can tuck myself down here looking over the top should hopefully be able to do something now, I've never shot from here before so it might not work out but I'm going to give it a go there wasn't any round here when I got here but I bought some bit of white bread I'm going to chuck down just as a bit of a sweetener for them try and get them in um, we're gonna throw it down somewhere near the bottom of the tree and just to the other side of the concrete wall okay let's go and get the gear packed out see what we're up against bitchy suit okay just doing a quick zero check uh, using the leaf but uh, as you'll see uh, I was there for about an hour and not one single bird showed up so I decided to call it quits around there move back up to where the sheds are well, they all seem to be at the top end of the sheds it was a strange day there was just from one week where the place was inundated they, there were just hardly any so we had to make the best of it like you always do because animals don't follow the plans Slight change of plan. I've shifted position around to where the tyres are. There's nothing around there where I was uh, originally set up. So I've come here, stuck myself down in this little hollow here, and they're all coming in along that line there. And I'm hoping, keep down, keep still, and uh, Start picking them off from the top of these tyres on this silage. That's the plan. See how it goes. Okay, this one's at 50 yards, just about the limit, really. Um, if you can see all them down the bottom end, it's as good a case as any for an FAC impact. They're at about 80 yards and they're landing there all day, pretty much. Next one, I had to wander around the corner just from where I was. I had to have a bit of a running shot at him, I missed him, put the pellet by his head and I couldn't take another shot because there was a car behind him and then he just wandered off and I never saw him again. So he's uh, he's one for another day. And I had another quick walk around the corner again and uh, this is in the across the farmer's road, a uh, crow just wandering through the grass, 30 yards. Next one, just up from where I was, just sat in the tree, just couldn't quite see me, leaf obscuring it. Took him down. There was a bit of, uh, just a bit of just keep wandering around, ducking and diving in between the sheds. And second one, golden opportunity. 
and I'll do my usual trick and completely faff the shot up and miss it. Ah, never mind. This one I walked back up to where my car was and I saw him in the tree about 30 yards away or just over 30 yards and um, I put the bipod on the roof of the car actually so this is what I'm faffing about with now just shortening the legs on the bipod because they just can't qu quite reach up to shoot him so I shortened the legs a tad put it back on the roof and just not bothered or not seen me at all there so dropped him went and picked him up from underneath the tree and I went back round to where the cow pens were and there's a couple of jackdaws on the wall I was waiting for him to come to a stop and drop him off the wall and the last one, I was in the same place, just looking through the actual sheds at one landing, just on the rail above the cows. I take him with a headshot. And loads of them in the sheds, but it's getting in there. That's uh, half a dozen over the space of about three hours. So, better than nothing. Some days we have to take the rough with a smooth. Okay, if you enjoyed that, like, subscribe and share and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.